This technology can change a ton of people's lives. First taste of AI that really blows you away. What is ChatGPT, this new artificial intelligence powered technology everybody seems to be talking about? Well, in this video, you guys are going to find out. I'm Ben and welcome to Motivation to Invest. In this video, I'm gonna reveal six applications which you can use with this technology in order to improve or even change your life. And be sure to stick around till the end of this video and I'm even gonna reveal one way which you can use this technology to actually make money with extremely easily. So this is gonna be a really valuable video, guys. So before we kick things off, let's level set on exactly what this technology is and how you can use it. Let's dive in. Okay, so what is ChatGPT? Well, it's basically an artificial intelligence model which has been trained up and you can interact with it in a conversational way. Now, this is gonna be a real game changer for many, many industries. I need to know how Skynet gets built. Who's responsible? Now, a little background about the company. It was actually developed from a company called the Open AI Institute, which is a non-profit institute, open source institute, so it means everything it produces is free currently. And that was actually backed by, interestingly enough, I discovered Elon Musk. So he's there again. I mean, we've got Twitter, we've got Tesla, and he's here again with AI. CEO is Sam Altman, who was the Y Combinator president. So YC, Y Combinator a great venture capital firm. So these are big players, and it means this technology could potentially be a major deal. And really the power of the technology is all based upon your own imagination. So let's dive into ChatGPT and see how this works. Skynet defense system We're in. now active. Okay, so the first application of ChatGPT is to answer exam question so this could be for school it could be for university it even could be for work related examination okay so let's say we start with a simple question what is an electromagnet an electromagnet is a type of magnet that is created by running an electric current through a coil of wire unlike a permanent magnet the strength of an electromagnet can be easily changed by adjusting so it's really explained it in a human way in a very understandable way that you could actually use. Okay, so now let's try something a little bit more complicated to challenge the artificial intelligence. Now, this is quite a complex question, which you'd be given in, say, an electrical engineering examination if you're doing that in university. So two long parallel wires, 45.3 centimeters apart, are carrying currents 10.3 amps and 29.8 amps in the opposite direction. What is the magnitude of the magnetic field? So quite a complex question. And you can see straight away the chat GPT has gotten to work. It's already give us, given us the formula to actually calculate um, this. And it's explained each and every part of it. It's also picked up on the variables which we gave it here, 10.3 amps and 29.8 amps. And it's using those variables in the formula in order to find the answer. Thus the magnitude of the magnetic field at the point halfway between the two wires is 2.17 to the 10 to the minus five Tesla power. So a really thorough answer to that question, then you could use this for your exam. Now I'm not recommending cheating on your examinations, but this could disrupt the entire examination industry. And I'm sure people will be tempted to use a software such as this AI powered chat. Okay, so the second application for chat GPT is you can use it to write content such as social media posts, Twitter posts, and even blog posts. So let's say, write me a 1000 word article on which is the best dog to buy. So quite a detailed question there. And you can see if you gave this task to a human, they'd have to do a lot of research. Straight away, ChatGPT has gotten to work. There are many factors to consider when choosing the best dog to buy, and the perfect dog for one person may be the best may, may not be the best choice for another. And you can see straight away it's given the information in a real human and understandable way. Now I've actually written around a thousand blog posts in the past, and thus I understand 
this is actually really good in terms of the quality and how human it is and understandable, but also engaging. Okay, so now let's get on to a more interesting and more unique application. So this is application number three. You can use the ChatGPT software to write code. And then you can use that code to develop applications to then make money. Now, of course, if you're not a programmer, then you can use this. And if you are a programmer, you can use this for ideas. In really bad English, make me PHP code that generates a QR code. So let's say we want to have a piece of code which generates the QR code and we can use that for our business or we can put it on our website and use it to get web traffic and then monetize that traffic. The software has started to create this code in the beautiful thing with this is it doesn't just give us the code and say, here you go. It gives us it section by section and also comments the code. So if you are a programmer, you'll know that good programming etiquette is to comment your code every line so people understand exactly what each term does. So it really goes through it there and it says to use this code, you have to do this, 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 then this. And it explains all of it. And then you can simply copy and paste that into your um, code compiler and then create the tool straight from this data. Okay, so now let's get on to a more fun example. So this is example number four. Let's say you want some creative ideas for a gift for, let's say your girlfriend's birthday. You can simply type that in here. Now let's see how good the examples are because really you could give this task to a human again and they might come up with something that isn't very creative like flowers and chocolates or you can give it to this chat GPT AI and it might come up with something a little bit more special. And as you can see here straight away, a personalized piece of jewelry, such as a necklace or brace, bracelet with initials on, that's actually quite good. Um, a DIY gift, such as a scrapbook photo album filled with pictures and memories from your relationship. That's actually pretty good also. Really, really quite good examples. Um, so I'm pleasantly surprised the chat GPT did so well with such an interesting example. But any query you have in your mind, you can simply, instead of Googling it, chat GPT it. So application number five is you can create summaries of long pieces of content. So let's say you've received a long email and you want a quick summary, or let's say you have to read a long report and you want a quick summary. So for example here, let's say you didn't know who Elon Musk was and you're reading his Wikipedia, very, very long, and you just want a quick summary where you can copy and paste literally right into ChatGPT, and you can simply use the shortcode TL, colon, and then DR. You can see straight away, ChatGPT is creating a summary of Elon Musk's life in very sort of simple, plain English. You can also say to it, write less formal, write more formal, etc. So very, very powerful stuff. Elon Musk is a business magnet investor, known for founding and leading several successful companies, SpaceX, Tesla, Boring Company. Quite good, very easily readable, which I'm pleasantly surprised with, with this software. Now, application number six is you can use ChatGPT to create analogies. So here's a simple example. If I say analogy maker, and I say I'm excited. So I want to say I'm excited, but give me an analogy. Give me something a little bit more interesting. So straight away, you can see it says I'm excited as a kid on Christmas morning. That's actually quite a good analogy. An analogy is a figure of speech that compares two things. So it also tells us what an analogy is and says about the excitement of a child on Christmas morning. And that's quite a good analogy um, for being excited. Now, here's a little bonus example just for you guys. Why should viewers subscribe to so there are many reasons um, why someone might want to subscribe firstly they enjoy the content that you create and want to be notified whenever you post new videos this is brilliant subscribe makes it easier for them to follow and keep track of your channel rather than having to search for videos each time by subscribing you're also showing support and helping to push the video out to more people and if you <laughs> there's so many benefits here there you go guys um, you know what to do you can hit that button right there but yeah, if you did find value in this video, feel free to give it a big thumbs up. I'd love to hear your thoughts on ChatGPT and artificial intelligence in general. Do you think this could be a game changer? Do you think this could replace people's jobs? I'd love to hear your thoughts, guys. So please do comment those below. With that being said, I hope you guys have a tremendous day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Keep growing.